Good afternoon, this is Mr. Samuel Shadrach. We are going to look at Unit C, Pass Paper, uh, July 2017, Question 11. It says a retail store has noticed a high level of slips and trips in its cafeteria and kitchen area. Part A of the question requires an outline what may have led to this high level of incidence. Part B, outline control measures that have reduced the number of slips and trips for purpose of this recording, we'll just be looking at uh, part E of the question that is worth 10 marks. Uh, some key points to notice in the question. Uh, point number one, the question requires an outline which would normally be uh, two to three sentences in length. It is a little bit less than explained but it, it must have some depth to the answer, possibly with an example. It is with 10 marks as such, 10 answers are also required. The question doesn't have a substructure, uh, which is another part of the question in the same sentence, but it has a part B. There is a stem or background to the question which can be found in the introductory line. As such, the answer must be tied back into the lines. A retail store has noticed a high level of slips and trips in its cafeteria and kitchen area. So the, the stem of this question would be a retail store as well as the high number of slips and trips is taking place in the cafeteria and the kitchen area. Press pause now if you want to have a go at this question. Okay, some possible answers and perhaps the, the length of the answer as well. Uh, what would have been possible causes of the high level of slips and trips? First of all, it could have been the condition of the floor possibly being slippery from drop items from the cafeteria such as a cup of tea. Next, tripping hazards in the kitchen from items being left in a clutter or not in its right place, thereby creating an environment where cooks or waitresses can become entangled. Next. Due to the initial design in which the coefficient of friction may have been poorly assessed, as such, the floor or floor tiles in the cafeteria and kitchen are generally smooth and can increase the risk of slipping. Again, we have coupled with wear over time, whatever grip was on the surface may have been worn down, resulting in increased risk of slipping. Possible contamination bought in from workers going to purchase items in the cafeteria such as mud or oil on their boots. A lack of proper maintenance of floors when items are spilled or at the end of the day, especially in the kitchen. Over polishing floors and tiles or the use of an oil based polish and shine thereby creating a slippery surface. Kitchen. Uh, whether or not repair work is being uh, done in the kitchen, this may create additional trip and hazards from extension cords, construction materials, and workers' tools. Individuals such as waitresses, cooks not taking proper care while in the kitchen, this may be due to rush orders or stress in trying to keep up with orders. As such, they may take risk by stepping over drop items, thereby increasing the risk of slipping or tripping. Perhaps a lack of proper footwear for those in the cafeteria or those workers visiting the cafe as well as those in the kitchen area. And lastly, an initiative from the retail store to capture steps, trips and fall records with an incentive in mind, with an incentive in mind as such workers are simply recording steps and trips that may have been quite commonplace before. If you find any of these uh, to be of interest, uh, again it's worth 10 marks, it's worth taking a look at it and perhaps try it on your own to see if you can come up with the answers very similar to what we would have produced here. These are not the uh, quote unquote actual answers, these are just our take on this given question. Hope this is helpful, uh, thanks very much until we look at another Nibosh question and answer session, goodbye.